Sunfeld from Imperial Nurseries. I'm here with Lori Petron Smith, uh, Area 3 grower, uh, one of our lead growers at Imperial. We're going to talk today about some uh, important tips that you can use for maintaining your plant material in the garden center through the summer months. One thing that's very important is that your, uh, your plant material is one of your biggest liabilities and you want to make sure that you keep that fresh through the summer um, so you can capture the most dollars out of your inventory. So Lori, first question I have for you today is what are some of the most important things that a nursery manager can do to ensure the proper quality of their plant material? Well Brent, I think there's probably three important things that you should keep in mind. One would be pruning, second would be fertility and water management, and third would be spacing. So Lori, when it comes to pruning, what are some of the most important things to keep in mind on pruning and, and is there certain times of the year or, uh, or during the, the growing season that you should prune? Well Brent, take this endless summer for example. You see there's varying stages of flowering here. There's old flowers that are definitely past bloom and then we have some new fresh buds emerging. Um, one of the things you can do in the garden center is just to come in with a pair of hand pruners and clip off some of the spent flowers and also remove some of the brown leaves. This should help keep the plant retail ready. Uh, in the nursery setting here, what we would probably do is come in with a more drastic approach. Without cutting the uh, microphone cord, right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, we would come in a little bit more dramatic and probably cut this in half. This is going to promote um, additional flowering as well as new, lush, green, healthy, fresh looking foliage. It's basically going to give the plant a makeover. So Lori, on a, um, an item like this spirea here, um, it's full and fresh, uh, but it, it's starting to, uh, with all the new growth, it's starting to get some feathers on it uh, that maybe are, in a couple weeks are gonna start to make it look a little unmanageable. What would you do to uh, keep a plant like this looking good? Well, Brent, we would probably come in and just come around the outside cleaning up some of this excessive growth, bringing it back to the can and shaping it up a little bit better. Maybe clear a little bit off the top. So I see, Lori, you've trimmed this spirea back and it, it uh, looks like what you've done here is you've taken all the, uh, the feathers off the plant uh, so as this plant uh, continues to flush through the summer, uh, it will keep its uh, nice consistent shape and reflower for you. Um, in doing that, I think that really helps your plants uh, stay much healthier longer in the nursery and gives you more uh, saleability uh, for a longer period of time. After you're done pruning, what would you recommend uh, from a fertilizer standpoint? Would you, uh, would you do a top dress of a granular or what, what would you do? Brent, we would go in and top dress with a short-term formulation, something that'll last maybe into the fall, just to help supplement what's already in the container. Would you, uh, would you use any liquid fertilizers uh, in, in conjunction with the granular fertilizer, or would you just stay with the granular, granular fertilizer, or would it depend on the different crop that you're trying to treat? Probably depend on the different crop you're trying to treat, but probably stick with one or the other as opposed to overdosing with both. Okay. One of the other things you mentioned is real important space. Uh, why, what makes spacing so important in the plant material is the summer months of grass and the growth Well, Brent, spacing is important for two reasons. One is you don't want to compromise the quality of the plant by having it spaced too close to the plant next to it and ruining its shape. Second would be air circulation. Uh, plants that are too close, the air circulation is poor, and that's going to lead to all kinds of issues. Very undesirable. So, if the plants are too close to one another, they get grounded and yellow and other kinds of new growth. Yeah, grounding and yellowing, and a whole host of other foliar diseases, which are caused by poor air circulation. And probably one of the most common ones you see is the tritus. Uh, the uh, plants are too wet. Powdery mildew to mention a few. Great. Lastly, uh, one thing I want to 
want to mention is that uh, I think it's real important that you take some time to review your irrigation system. Uh, a lot of nurseries have uh, overhead irrigation and use a, a timer of some sort. Uh, make sure that you've got your, uh, your, your clock set properly. Make sure it's working. If you've got a, a battery backup, uh, make sure the battery's working in that. And also, you think your times are set properly. And also, uh, at the end of the day, it, it's best to uh, turn your irrigation on and make sure all the heads are working. Uh, there's been a number of times where I've gone into a nursery and I've seen dry spots in, in the plant material. And uh, when I unscrew the sprinkler head, uh, a lot of times there's a rock in there. It's simple as just a rock plug, uh, plugging the, uh, the uh, sprinkler itself. So take some time to uh, review your irrigation system. Uh, it doesn't hurt to double check everything at least once a month just to make sure it's all working. Uh, so you make sure you get uh, proper irrigation over on plant material. So Lori, thank you very much for your time. Uh, hopefully our customers have picked up some, some knowledge here and maybe just a reminder of some of the basics that uh, you need to keep in mind. Have a great growing season. We appreciate all your help here. Thank you, Brad.